Well, hello there, my mates, and welcome back to Aftermath. Aftermath. Guess what has happened? The green mode donation machine currently sits on 998 coins. And by my memory, at least, I think it's 999 you need to unlock the keeper. Via doing simple maths, that would denote that we only need but one more coin to unlock this character. I reckon I can get that in a run. I reckon we should go get it right the hell now. I reckon we should actually click on the screen so it would at least register when I press spacebar right about now. But who, my friends, are we going to play as? Well, I think we can all agree that Lilith is the funnest. I would say probably in terms of grinding green mode, Samson's the strongest character to play as. But we care about fun, not success. And I reckon I can still achieve one coin. One coin is so easy. You know, watch me not get it now. But what one coin, man? The last green mode I did, I put about 60 in. Well, that's a damn good start, isn't it? Okay. Let's, um... Let's... <laughs> okay, it's a pretty good item to pick up off the bat. But let's, let's ignore that five seconds just happened, yeah? And I've actually got my excuses ready. I burnt myself, friends. I burnt myself badly. That's why there were no videos over the weekend. I was in pain. I was dying. If you don't know, I work at a restaurant. And uh, we have big, big ovens that cook lots and lots and lots of food, as probably any restaurant would have. I burnt myself on it. I opened it up and it was all steaming, like 300 degrees steam went all up my arm. Terrible. My skin was boiling. A travesty of a day. But it's all better. Well, it's not all better now. I'll be honest, the keyboard is hard to handle right now. The keyboard's very hard to handle. I'm in the kind of situation where... As I'm sure you can imagine how a keyboard sits on a desk. I can't actually rest my arm on the desk because there's blisters all up it right now. So we're in a bit of an awkward space, but it's all going to be fine when we finally unlock the keeper. There we go, lovely. And I'll be honest, this is going pretty well, you know, in terms of a start. We've, we, well, the spike incident aside, we've not taken any damage. And there we go, okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, we got all of our incubuses out at the optimal time, you know, to make the best use of the charge mechanic, which is very good. Always what you want to do. You got a tears up. Always good. I thought we were going to take another hit there. Really glad we didn't, because that would have been an awful time to lose a black card. Anyway, there we go. What do we got here? A, um, a what's-his-face, a Gemini. Well, that should be all right. Yeah, we've got a lot of tears going out now, and they do... Well, I would say lots of damage. There's not been any negative modifiers on our damage yet, so it's okay. Especially when we're shooting four times what we would be. So that's pretty good. And a man of the rags. Well, that health bar seems to be dropping relatively quick. Which I'd say is pretty good. <coughs> but yeah, so the, uh, the massive burn aside, it's all good, you know. Nearly unlocked the keeper. I got a banana milkshake to my side. The best flavour of milkshake. Disagree and you clearly have found a place that does better milkshakes than the milkshakes that I make. But, you know, I like the banana milkshakes. You know, and if you're not going to go crazy and put like cream and stuff in it, then I reckon banana as a base flavour is the best. Of course, it's very easy to get wrong a banana milkshake and I don't really even... Oh my lord, what a glorious layout of items here. Okay, the pentagram does not give you any HP, so we're going to have to take Abaddon first, and then immediately spend half our HP on the pentagram. Half our HP for a 0.5 damage up, which I think is what the pentagram is. Is that worth it? It's another Leviathan point, which is flight, which admittedly doesn't really help that much in greed, but I'm gonna. Yo, low. Well, that was a damn good deal with the devil. Not much in the way of items there, but I'm hoping that in our golden item room, we can find ourselves something of our HP up. And we haven't, but how is this going to work? How is this going to work when we have more than one? Is it going to work at all or is... No, it doesn't work at all. Basically, if you play as a normal character, your tears will always be in the beam. But obviously it's our familiar that's shooting or not us. So that's actually just an aesthetic upgrade. But hey, it looks pretty good. So yeah, whatever. Or maybe if they start in the beam, they stay in the beam. We'll have to do some more experimentation on that. Mm, get me some of this banana milkshake. It's actually a protein shake, but hey. No, okay, so the uh, tractor beam actually has 
literally no effect on what we're doing. Necronomicon's a good item, but we're not getting rid of Box of Friends, obviously. Another damage up. Boy, oh boy, are we looking good right now. Let's go and see if there's anything really good for sale in our shop. You damn well bet you there is. That's an evil up as well, a.k.a. a black card up. So an HP up. Very nice. Let's get two out here. Mm, ah, that was what hurt us there. The explosion of a dead foe. Well, if we're going to be hurt by anything, I would say the explosions of dead foes are probably the best things to be hurt by. But our HP is not in the greatest of spots right now. You know, it could have been, but we chose to get rid of half of it for the pentagram, which is a decision I stand by, certainly. We want to get that out before we lose an opportunity to. Lovely stuff. Yes, yeah, is... At the moment, I would say getting one coin is absolutely on the cards. I mean, it's always on the cards, you know. You have to be pretty unlucky to complete in greed mode and not put any money in the machine at all. I think I've only actually done it once, and that actually was the last Binding of Isaac video I made, but... I'm sure there are others. I was getting a bit forgetful with the old box of friends there, wasn't I? But I think, I think it's gone okay. Anyway, I would imagine we're going to be in a great, great spot against Fistula. And indeed we are. Very, very simply done. And one of the Gerds. I forget which one's Gerdy Juniors and which one's Girdlings. What? Uh, yeah, what one is that? Because Gerdy Junior is the big tanky one. Mama Gerdy is the one that you can fight. I think it's in the womb. Or is the big one Mama Gurdy, and that's a Gurdy Junior? I don't know, man. I don't know, but a chub isn't going to be a problem for us, not with the amount of damage that we can dish out right now. So what we really want now are charge items, because our tiers themselves are great. We just need to kind of abuse our power, so to speak. So that's going to... That, I think, is actually going to be... That's going to cost us three... And what Ceremonial Robes does is it gives you a damage up and three. But I think it will actually net us half a heart here. No, it hasn't. Which is a shame, but it's still the damage up. And so it's basically a free damage up, which is very, very pleasing. I think it's a damage up anyway. Who knows? Right, in here. Charged baby. Really good. Oh my goodness me. Guys, are you ready for it to get out of hand? Because Charged Baby drops charges. <laughs> are you ready for this? I am going to have a guess right now that we can probably get 10, 15 friends. If we can get like transcending tears or something, we are in for one hell of a fun time. Mr. Bomb is not really what we're in the market for though. That certainly is. Another damage up. Oh boy. I uh, want to look in here if there's anything for free, which there isn't. If we had a bomb, actually, you know what? Let's go pick up bomb buddy. Use him once. Unlocking that key and that there chest. Seems like a smart idea, doesn't it? Lovely. Thanks very much. Saves us a bit of money, doesn't it? And a tears up pill. Amazing. Oh, it was a health up. Well, I'll still damn well take that. And I think there's a half price mini mush for sale as well. This is going well, isn't it? This is going pretty well. Right, so this is going to give us, yeah, the charged babies as well. Which is going to mess up our shooting a little bit. In the sense that, as you can see, they're further spaced apart. But, well, let's just see how this goes, yeah? Let's just see how this goes. Because charge babies drop charges. Which means every charge baby that drops a charge, we're going to get two more charges, if that makes sense. At least I think they drop charges. They haven't yet, have they? But they might. Anyway, very happy to have picked up car battery. I hate these kind of enemies, especially when there's those things flying about. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything from you, charge babies. Don't say I spent 15 quid it was on you for nothing. Um, yeah, these enemies I hate because look, that that's it. Especially when there's these things flying about the place. There's a charge. Let's get another one. Let's apparently get too excited and mess it up a bit there. Yeah, I need to plan these charges probably. I think what I'll do is I'll leave them all on the floor until there's loads of them. I don't know what the actual percentage chance is to unlock any, but we've got a hell of a lot of familiars there. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> okay. Okay, and I'm not sure what's giving us the freeze effect, but I'm glad to have it. So, how many incubuses do we have right now? Quite a damn few, isn't it? Oh, we are going to have such fun with this. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Okay, oh, it's a peep. You know what, I'm not even scared of a peep right now. The bane of my life is a peep, but that was quite incredible how we dealt with that. Right, I reckon we're going to fight Krampus now. I can always call it. Luckily, we had the charge, and there's that done. Lump of coal, pretty good. Well, that was that. Okay, it wasn't a half price mini mush, but I'll still buy a mini mush. And now we'll just head down. Or do we want to buy another key and open that gold chest? I feel good about what could be inside. Uh, I mean, I guess we made a net gain, you know. Still, we're in the midst of a great run here. Let's just enjoy it. <laughs> oh, boy. So really, even in the Ultra Greed fight, we can get a ton of enemies in. Or a ton of enemies? A ton of Incubus is in. If Charge Baby pays out a lot, which I hope it does. Right, what's for sale in here? The D6? Nothing really. I'm actually going to use that bomb right now. The... To have a re-roll here and oh my goodness me okay big hp gain there very happy to have it and some money oh my goodness me that means we can buy <laughs> that means we can buy bff now we might very well crash the game in a second because we are going to be getting a ton of things on the screen if i can make the binding of isaac lag on my computer which I must say, it's a pretty damn good computer. Then I'm going to be very proud with how this run's turned out. We need Charge Babies to be paying out lots and lots and lots, though. That's the thing. I knew I was going to run into that. And we still need to think about an HP game, because we don't have, you know, an unlimited amount of hearts right now. Come on, I want to see charges on the floor, damn it! Did I see one? I actually can't see what's on the floor, really. No, I did not see one yet. That's fine. It's pretty spectacular, isn't it? But they're not paying out at all there. That's uh, rather disappointing, if I may say, Charge Babies. I want you to be switching on if you can be, please. So our damage per tier is going to be amazing. Man, we just need to work on a bit of HP for ourselves. Especially if we're going to be taking damage like that. The problem is I can't see much of... Hmm. Yeah, okay, maybe one of these is a... Uh, Yara Rune versus a Pro Rune. I think a Yara Rune. And we'll save it for when there's a Spirit Heart available for sale. For now, we'll certainly buy Jesus Juice. And, yeah, we'll certainly buy meat as well. Boy, oh boy, oh boy! Okay, yeah. Let's head down. We can use the Yara Rune to get a key, if nothing else, on the next floor. Which is really good. So we've had a lot of damage ups. A tremendous amount of damage ups. An untellable amount of damage ups. Not only that, but... Oh, well, you know the score. And then we got an all stats for sale there. And double vision. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Right. Oh, there's an HP up. What we've been looking for. And a tears up as well. This is going to be crazy. Uh, so, I know it's probably not the best use of a Yera Room. We're only going to get a key, but I'm going to use it. I know there's some HP drop in there, but we're not going to be using any of that HP. We might. You never know. Right, sissy long legs. <laughs> oh, how much is going to be on the screen right now? Okay. Right, so. I want to buy both of these. Certainly double vision. Ultra Greed, you ain't going to stand a chance, bruv, are you? All right, there's that done. Oh, not quite done. Nearly done. Beautiful. There's that. So we got a load of sissy long legs as well. Don't forget the amount of damage per tier we have. These spiders are going to be deadly AF. I just want char I just want our charge babies to be paying out more. I want to properly abuse this glorious setup that we've achieved here. Even the enemies that I hate, we're kind of one hitting right now. It's pretty damn good. Honestly, the amount we've got, I would be expecting a drop every at least two waves. You know, and we're just not getting it. It's, it's a very small disappointment in an otherwise glorious, glorious affair. But I don't even know what enemy we were facing there. It just died. I think that was one of the horsemen, but it just died. Right. So... <laughs> well, here we go. Keep away from that. Oh my goodness me, we've got an MB as well in here. Well, an MB's not going to stand a chance, is it? We've got way too much going on for it to stand a chance there. And that was that! 
Okay, and we do have a charge drop just at the wrong time, but an HP up there. Well, not really an HP up, but you know what I mean. Is very good. Uh, we're not going to have enough money to buy both. Well, I'm going to prioritize <laughs> this. I think this might be our strongest greed mode run ever, to be honest. I, I definitely do. I think this is our strongest greed mode ever. Could have maybe bought a key there just to save ourselves a few seconds, but... Actually, no, because we're on the chest now, so there's not going to be a item room, is there? No, there isn't. Right, well, get a couple of blue up there. I was going to say, if we could get a little bit of an HP gain, then that would be really good. And there, well, it's for sale, so there's no reason why we couldn't. Right, let's do this! BFF, like, literally the ability to create so many familiars. Great damage on our Incubus. I'm guessing we... Stuff's either dying too quickly for me to really concentrate on the amount of charges we're getting. Or charge babies are dropping stuff and I'm just running into it. Basically, I'm just going to spam spacebar lots. And then we can't miss any. There we go. That seemed to work. Okay, now I'm not going to press spacebar anymore. Because I want to save as many upgrades or as many uses of Box of Friends as we can get for... The fight against Mr. Ultra Greed, but honestly, ah, oh, there's one there. We might as well get another one then, mightn't we? If we got a charge on the floor. Okay, right, how quickly can we do this? Wow. That was definitely the quickest I've ever got through that. Certainly, right, in here, more HP, fantastic. A couple of spiders, deal with them pretty well. Absolutely 100% our strongest green mode run, I'd say. And we've only got to put the one coin in, so we might as well buy that. Ah, man, I was really hoping for something else. Okay, let's get a reroll. Pandora's box, more HP. I want something chargey or something damagey. No, it's not going to work. Let's maybe get one more. Well! in range and we get spun which i think is another hp and we got our six quid so we just one coin one coin here and it's our best time ever we got double vision <laughs> i can't speak that was just one we're gonna have three in a minute right ultra greed are you ready for this bro are you ready mate let's do it yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I just wish these guys would pay out so we can get more. In fact, honestly, I think I might have seen his damage go down a bit more. But if we could properly make use of our item, then boy, wouldn't it? Up, oh, a daisy. Hey, pick it all back up. Come on, charge babies. Pay out. I want to make this awesome. I want to make it awesome. I mean, as if it's not awesome. I mean, we've we've effectively got six because of double vision, but we got to be careful, though. You know, we can't go dying and we can't go, you know, losing all our money because, of course, when Ultra Reed hits you, you lose a couple of coins. We've only got nine. And the whole point of today is to unlock the Keeper. Admittedly, this has become the funnest thing ever, but... I mean, he's nearly dead. You know what? I take it back. This is absolutely the quickest we've ever killed Ultra Greed, I think. There we go. Lovely. Ah, oh, I just wish Char- Oh, there's- Yeah! There's one. I wish they paid out more, though. But I guess we would break the game if they did. And to think the amount of tears that we're missing as well. Really, really amazing run. Amazing. And it's nearly over. Uh, by the recording timer, we're at 19 minutes now. So the actual video is probably about maybe 18.45 or something. Well, are you ready for this? we got all our friends watching. And apparently we picked up another one along the way. <laughs> I mean, that is pretty cool. The only thing that would have made that cooler would have been the transcendent tears. And maybe penetrative shots, so just all the tears would go on forever. We would fill the screen, but still, that was brilliant. And if we just run into here... Oh, if only everyone was as I didn't even get to read that. Fireworks! Oh, and we got all our buddies here to watch the fireworks with. That was awesome. 
that was absolutely an incredible run. Thanks for watching it, lads. I guess the next video will involve someone called the Keeper. Yeah, where is he? Where is he? I don't see him. That that. Where is he? Uh. Am I blind? I I can't see the keeper. Is there? Is there something else we have to do? I'm gonna have to check the wiki right now because I thought we were gonna unlock the keeper there. The Keeper Afterbirth. That's what I'll search. Okay, this is what it says. You can't see this. Sorry, that's how my greed mode is. That's how, not my greed mode. That's how my recording is set up. A thousand coins into the machine. <laughs> <laughs> Have I seriously just done that? I couldn't put a thousand coins in the machine. I put one in and then... And then left. So it's now on 99, and I could have put another one in, and I didn't. Well, it just means we'll have to do another green. <laughs> I can't believe that. Okay, um, well, thanks for watching, guys. It was a hell of a fun run, even if I guess it didn't unlock the objective that we thought it was going to. Thanks for watching anyway, because that was an absolute blast. I'll see you later.